Modern cars have ECU or engine control units which communicate with all kinds of sensors and they tell us if we have any faults in our dashboard. If something doesn't work properly with your car, a fault light should appear in your dashboard. I will discuss in this video the most common fault codes and lights that may appear in your dashboard. The first one would be check engine. It's a yellow light which appears in your dashboard. The, the check engine fault code has lots of possible causes. These include malfunction of the EGR system, which is the exhaust gas recirculation, cylinder misfire when one or more of your cylinders from the engine are not uh, working properly, poor fuel, poor fuel or poor octane rating if you have gasoline or poor cetane rating if you're using diesel, turbo problems such as uh, pressure leaks or oil leaks, lambda probe damage or malfunction, catalytic converter damage or malfunction, ECU malfunction can also occur with check engine. I actually had that with my older car. Uh, the check engine was uh, always reappearing, the car consumed double, it smelled like gasoline inside the car and it was emitting black smoke due to incomplete combustion. And this is very rare in gasoline engines. I changed the lambda probe, nothing changed. I changed the spark plugs, nothing changed. I changed the ECU unit, everything changed. It, the car worked as if it was new. Oil fault light. This usually appears when your oil levels drop below the minimum level which you can find on the dipstick and it may appear if you have a low oil pressure. Airbag fault light. This appears usually when one or more of your airbags are not communicating with the ECU. This usually occurs when there's a wiring problem. If the airbag fault light appears in your dashboard, none of your airbags are working. So if you crash your car, you won't have any airbags active, at least in this car. The brake pads fault light, which isn't quite a fault, uh, indicates when your brake pads are worn out. When that light appears, you should be changing your uh, brake pads within 500 kilometers. The light fault light indicator shows if one or more lights of your car are not functioning. This includes headlights, tail lights, and fog lights. If you have a diesel engine, you'll see a small yellow spring which usually appears when you're trying to start the engine. That means that the uh, glow plugs are preheating the cylinders in order to help the engine start. If your engine barely starts if it's cold outside, it means that one or more of your glow plugs are depleted and they need to be replaced. If you're driving on the highway and all of a sudden the battery fault light appears on your dashboard, it means that your alternator doesn't work anymore, so it won't be recharging the battery. You'll run out of battery pretty soon. Another possible cause of the battery light appearing would be ABS and ESP. If you see the ESP and the ABS fault lights appear in your dashboard, it means that one of your ABS sensor is not working properly. This means that ABS will be disabled. And ESP works based on ABS. If ABS doesn't work, it means that ESP won't work either. ABS and ESP are incredibly useful for your safety, so you need to check a service as soon as possible as well. This would be the basic fault codes that you should know about. If you have any further questions or comments, please leave them in a comment section below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.